Well, Ooh, this I'm, building. The Wills Memorial building. And then State Bishop accommodation. You know, I've heard a load of stuff like, oh, the Wills building's built off like slave money, blah, blah, blah. Most University of Bristol students will associate the name Wills with the Memorial Building on Queen's Road, or the Halls of Residence in Stoke Bishop, but little know of the actual figure himself or his relation to the university. So the Wills you're referring to is um, Henry Overton Wills, who's um, the first Chancellor of Bristol University. Probably his most crucial contribution is a donation of £100,000 to the fledgling Bristol University, which is what really helps to get the university established. Wills was able to make this significant contribution due to his wealth attained from being in the third generation of a firm of tobacco importers. But did this wealth hold any undesirable ties? Well, crucially, of course, they're importing tobacco, which is predominantly produced on slave-run plantations um, in the southern states, the United States of America. So for the first 19, 20 years of his career, Wills will have been importing slave-produced goods. This means that the original contribution that started the university was money made on the exploitation of slaves. Yet the Will's name is associated with many of the university buildings. Does the university unfairly glorify this figure? That one's a really difficult question. We should never seek to whitewash the past. So we don't want to just sweep under the carpet all the bits that we're not, co we're not very comfortable with. We have to remember why the university remembers Wills as well. It's most remembered through um, the Wills Memorial Building, which is built, built by his sons. That wasn't built to, um, to celebrate his involvement in exploitation and slavery. It's built to celebrate um, his charitable work, his role in things like education, but also the spirit of enterprise. Wait, so this building was funded from slave-grown tobacco? Slave-grown tobacco. You ignored it or tried to downplay it maybe, yeah, it would be wrong too because it's part of the city's history and it's good to keep people aware of what has built up the city. It's, it's something that people should know about and, you know, to, to make amends for it now and make the best of it.